talking about finances with your kids is important and the earlier you get started, the better. Creating healthy money habits such as saving and spending can also help develop so many other financial opportunities. Colin Evans from Evans Financial Group joins us now. Well, Colin, how can you explain, you know, why it's so important to talk to kids about money and how do we make it un not be uncomfortable? Because a lot of times people just have a hard time even talking about money. Even as adults, I see this. And so why should we be talking about it with our own children? You know, I, I think one of the uh, m most damaging things to our kids um, is like in our school system, they do not teach about money. They really don't. It's funny, now you see, we're starting to see memes that are popping up. It's like, here's things I wish I learned, you know, in school. What's mortgage rates? What are taxes? Mm -hmm. How about finances and budgeting? budgeting? You know, and those things aren't taught in school. So that's a, it is a huge thing. So that burden really does kind of fall on the parents. And sometimes to our kids, they're kind of just left on their own to kind of figure this out. So we put together a couple things that we can kind of give with some tips that are out there. And the first one is really kind of, we could call a three jar approach. It was actually the original topic or title that I kind of deemed for um, the book that we released about teaching our kids about money. And we're gonna give, view, we'll give that away later. Um, but the spend, save, give method is kind of teaching this principle and putting, kind of giving the kids something um, in their mind so they start kind of having a visual with it. And the first one being that spend and it's when the when your child you know earns money if they're earning it from chores or if they're doing any little side gigs. I started all the way out at collecting cans back in the back in the day going to construction sites mm -hmm. and that would be you know we my dad would take me over to the place that recycle it and they'd pay me you know four dollars or whatever it was. But then my parents would have me divide that up and it was divided up into three different jars. This is what you get to spend this is what you're going to give. This was my tithe portion that we gave to my church. And then here is money to save for later use. And, and how old were you, Colin? Uh, the can thing, I started at seven. At seven, at okay, seven. so that's yes. when you started getting introduced to that money. I think, yeah, it was seven. I Good think, old Dave. I think by, yeah, by about eight, he had me in khakis and a shirt, and I was probably knocking on doors, you know, start asking. Selling Kirby's? No, I was asking probably to wash cars <laughs> at that point. But that's, that's a great way to get them involved, and it starts getting that, you know, in reality. And I did this exact thing with my daughter, and it was with a lemonade stand. And right. when we took this, like, this is what you get to save with, this is what you're going to tie to our church, and then went back into like she had her spending pile and then when she had her savings pile this is what we actually went to buy product with and this kind of puts us into you know bullet point number two yeah. of the budgeting and shopping decisions and so when we kind of took this the step you know we went of course to the lemonade aisle and you know she's thinking like all right i get to buy product and look at it and she had the kind of the aha, the awakening moment while we were shopping and you know, the skin in the game, it did. But <laughs> the first thing she sees, you know, of course, you know, at the time she's seven years old. So the first thing she sees is the fancy packaging, you know, and it could be, you know, it was one of the high end brands for your lemonade. And she's like, oh, well, this is going to be, it's got to be this one because mm -hmm. the, the colors are there. They attract to me. Marketing. And it said, <laughs> and then, you know, then I relayed to her, I said, now we're using your money that you bought, you earned. And we need to look at, you know, what's going to be the most cost effective. And it really immediately clicked with her of, wait, I don't need the, the high end lemonade because we're going to sell this. We add our own lemons into it. We actually add a little extra sugar to make it sweeter. And, mm -hmm. and then she moves down to the bottom shelf and she starts looking for the cheaper versions because she's realizing go. that she can get more of it. Yep. She's like, if I get more of this, dad, I can sell more. And it really started tracking into her head and her profit margin extremely went up. And I was like, you know, outside of anybody from the IRS hearing this, I'm like, child, you're making 20 and $25 an hour selling lemonade. You're knocking it out. You're look into a different the, industry. You're, just knocking, <laughs> you're knocking it out of the park. <laughs> but one of the, you know, and the third thing that's really good, and I, I'm still adamant about that this day, is playing games. And the most common one that we all know today is Monopoly. And that gives them a little bit of, you know, how are we saving? Are we are we paying rent? Do we have to pay taxes? We got to pay the phone company. You know, I hope nobody goes to jail in this game, you know, in this <laughs> game as we're trying to relate this into reality. But that really did uh, do that and allowed for that. Um, you know, and I want to throw out too, we actually made this available. So if any of our viewers want to, so we actually originally wrote a book called The Lemonade Legacy. Well, show it up. And it, show this us. was actually a story that started with my daughter. Mm -hmm. And they, any of the viewers can go to savingretirement.com and they can download it for free. They don't okay. have to go pay $12 on Amazon. They can go download it for free. 
but it was designed in essence to teach our kids, um, a, you know, it was a guide for parents on how to teach your kids how to save yeah. money. Good for kids, grandparents, helping them do that because there's a couple fundamental principles, again, that aren't taught in schools that, you know, sometimes, parents, sometimes, and sometimes parents struggle with mm -hmm. being able to do that. So. Yeah, I mean, because not everybody has healthy spending habits and money habits, even as adults. You know, we, we see that time and time again, Absolutely. right? You, you, yeah, made, Absolutely. It, made a whole career out of it, right? It, you know, and it does, and it, and it really does. And my child actually really had, she had an awakening moment when, uh, a couple weeks ago when she overdrew her checking account. Um, she door dashed something and she overdrew it by 76 cents. Well, she was earning money for a trip. And out of that money that was earning from the trip, I said, well, I said, we got to take 20 bucks off. And she said, what are we taking $20 off? I was like, well, one, dad had to go fund your 76 negative. And thankfully, the banker's a good friend, and he wiped out your little overdraft charge to give you a, a freebie. So don't let it happen again. There so you she go. hasn't learned, there you go. hasn't completely learned that lesson, but I'm sure she will. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much, Colin, for talking with us today.